Welcome to the unboxing of the Linksys E2500 Advanced Dual Band N600 Router. My name is Brian Bresen, Bad Dog Computing in Heber City, Utah. This unboxing, I'm going to take a look at this router, talk a little bit about it. Here's the router itself, which you might notice looks a lot nicer than the older Linksys routers. It's also a good wall mount unit. Um, a lot of times it's good to mount it just to, to be neat. Um, also, uh, helps you mount a little bit higher. A lot of times you can get around some of the interference by just uh, moving your wireless router above the interference. Um, so this box also comes with the uh, power adapter. It is going to be a regular AC to DC adapter. It's not, there is no power, but using that for this one. And it's got your setup CD and an Ethernet cable. Uh, I believe it's a six foot cable. Now this is an uh, N600, um, which means it's going to be a dual band using 24, 2.4 gigahertz as well as 5 gigahertz. And you can have connections up to 600 megabits per second if you're connecting on both bands. Um, also has MIMO antenna technology, which stands for multiple in, multiple out, which will help fight interference from all these wireless devices around us. Um, so actually communicate, can communicate on multiple channels to maintain a high quality link between the, the router and the device. Notice in the back also has four Ethernet ports as well as the WAN port to connect to your modem or uh, another switch. These connections are 100 megabit per second connections. If you want to get gigabit um, connections, go with the E2000 or any unit above the 2500 to get the gigabit connections. Um, but when you're looking, make sure you actually you check that um, if that is a concern for you. Um, also, when you're looking at wireless access points or range extenders, a lot of times they'll come with one port. Um, I like this one for a good all around home router because you can connect these <clears throat> to devices that are close enough through a wired connection. Now, the connection speed will be slower at 100 megabits per second. However, that's usually several times faster than your internet connection and plenty fast for the everyday home user. Um, but if you're going to be transferring large files to network storage or doing gaming between you and other computers in the same network, this, the uh, 600 megabit connection may be better. Um, I do prefer wire connections typically just because they're more reliable, less likely for that portion of the router to go bad than the wireless portion. It's also more secure. Um, it's kind of nice to just know what's going to work. Um, now it is a N router, however it's also backwards compatible for A, B, and G. So if you have older devices that will not work with N, um, don't worry, they'll still work with this router. Uh, when you're looking for wireless router, you know, keep that in mind. Um, this is a moderately priced unit. I'm not going to say the price because it'll probably change by the time you see this. Let's go to baddogcomputing.com and check our current price. And feel free to start a chat if you have any questions or give us a call. We'll help with any pre-purchase questions as well as set up afterwards. It's baddogcomputing.com. Also give us a call, 435-654-7575. Thanks for watching the unboxing of the Linksys E1200 wireless N router. And my name is Brian Bresen with Bad Dog Computing.